This year, more than 82,000 people will be told they have bladder cancer. Almost 17,000 will die from it. Now, new technology is helping to light up the problem like never before. Maureen Halliday has those details, but before we show this, some may find the images graphic. Fly me to the moon. Frank Sinatra had it. About a year ago. So did Jack Lemmon, Telly Sabalas, and U.S. Senator Hubert Humphrey. Bladder cancer is almost three times more common in men than women. The key to beating it? Early detection. One of the first signs, blood in the urine. Also, patients may have to urinate frequently and experience pelvic or back pain. Detecting it early is key to survival. It's very important because when we find this, you know, people on this stage, we can offer them the treatment, aggressive treatment. UC San Diego oncologists are now using blue light cystoscopy to detect and monitor bladder cancer. It's the same technology used in computer monitors, smartphones, tablets, and TVs. Before the procedure, urologists insert a special dye into the bladder. Then using a catheter, doctors use a camera with a white light to look inside. Then they switch to a blue light. Combined with the dye, it makes the once undetectable cancer cells glow fluorescent pink. With uh, blue light, the cancer cells accumulate these um, drugs and they have a fluorescence. By doing that, we can have some contrast between the tumor cells and the normal cells. And by doing that, increase that our detection rate. You can see the difference between using the white light and the blue light. In 11% of the people, they can change your diagnosis and upgrade your diagnosis. Lighting up cancer cells to kill them and save lives. I'm Maureen Halliday reporting. It is FDA approved and can be used both in the clinic and the OR for new diagnosis and also monitoring those who are battling the disease.